Today I'm going to lead you through a 30 minute spec tennis workout on the wall. We're gonna start with three minutes of jump rope, five minutes on the forehand, five minutes on the backhand, five minutes of volleys, five minutes alternating slice and top spin, and then finish with seven minutes of five ground strokes, five volleys. So we're starting off with three minutes of jump rope, getting the body warmed up for this workout, doing whatever style of jump rope you want. If you don't have a jump rope, that's okay as well. You can do this without the rope, just hopping, swinging the arms. So we're getting the body warmed up. After you've done three minutes of that, then we're gonna switch to five minutes of forehands. So five minutes of forehands, hitting whatever style forehand you want. So you could hit defensive, simple block swings, where your paddle's open, you're just making the ball go up with limited amount of swing. You could slice the ball, so a little bit more aggressive movement. You could hit it flatter, or you could hit it with top spin. So pick your style. Your goal when you're hitting though, is that you're keeping the ball to the outside so it ends up on your forehand side almost every time and you don't have to move around the ball too much. So really working on grooving our target, picking a target on the wall that you wanna to try to hit. So I'm trying to hit near the top of that chalk line every time so I get some good net clearance. And then after you get the hang of this, you can start moving your feet a little bit more aggressively. Start using your legs so that you're bending, getting taller as you hit. Trying to see how many shots you can make in a row before you miss, aiming for the same target every time. So again, picking your style of swing, try to stick with that for the full five minutes so you get a lot of reps of the same thing over and over. If you're having trouble keeping the ball to your outside, try playing the ball a little bit later because if we play it early, it's going cross court. So then it's going to our backhand side. That's gonna be more difficult to maintain the forehand rally than if we're hitting straight balls by contacting the ball a little bit more behind us so we can make that ball go straight. Next up is the backhand for five minutes. So pick your style, whether you're doing one hand or two, top spin, slice, or flat. I can go defensive where my face is open. I'm playing more of a lob shot. Also adjust your positioning on the wall based on how you're hitting. So if I'm hitting really high on the wall and I'm standing too close to the wall, that's gonna be difficult. So I need to step back if I'm hitting high. If I'm hitting lower, I might move forward. Also stepping back gives you a little bit more reaction time. So decide what type of backhand you wanna hit. In this example, I'm gonna do one-handed topspin backhand and I'm going to aim for the top right corner of that square to have a pretty consistent shot over and over. Notice that when I get it there, I don't have to move very much. If I hit it somewhere else, I have to move my feet a lot more to get it. Focus on bending before contact, getting taller as you're coming into contact. So you're involving the whole body. After you've done the backhands, next up is volley. So figure out how close you wanna to stand to the wall. The further you stand from the wall, the more reaction time you have but you need to adjust the height or the speed of the ball to get it to come back to you every time. I like to start off just a few feet from the wall and make my volleys go up until I get the feel of it so that I have a lot of reaction time here. I can do the same thing on the backhand, making my ball go up by opening the face a little bit. After I get the hang of it, I can increase the intensity if I want so I can hit lower volleys, but then I'm just gonna have to react a lot faster because I'm hitting lower. So I'm barely hitting above that white line. I have to react a lot faster. If I wanna play one side only, I keep the ball to the outside again, hitting straight so that I don't have to move too much. If I wanna mix, I can move the ball around that square. So I'm getting a mix of forehands and backhands. One thing to keep in mind is when that ball comes right at you, you wanna choose a backhand because you're able to protect yourself a lot better with the backhand with this range of motion here than you can with the forehand if that ball starts getting in close to you. So don't be afraid to play backhands when that ball's right at you and you don't have time to move away from it. So trying to keep the ball in the air as long as you can. Volleys on the wall are really good practice because you often don't have a lot of reaction time. So it forces you to reduce your swing and just absorb the pace of your opponent's shot. Again, playing backhands when they're right at me, not doing a lot of swing on anything I don't really have time to step forward on too many unless I hit it higher. 
And so again, just nice block swing, absorbing my opponent's pace. Next up is five minutes alternating between a top spin and a slice. So I want you to isolate one side again on this. So we're hitting the ball straight ahead and I can start with either a slice or a top spin, but the next shot should be the opposite. So I slice it, then I change my grip and I hit a top spin. So in between shots, every time I'm changing my grip. So top spin, slice. So nice and loose in my hand so that I can change that grip really easily. If I choose to do a backhand, here's what it might look like instead. Again, the less accurate that I am, the more that I'm gonna have to move my feet, and that's okay. Make sure you have an air target on the wall, so you have a visual of how successful you are each time. So five minutes alternating slice top spin. If you're not familiar with top spin yet, that's okay. You can alternate between slice and flat. Flat is just more of a linear swing compared to top spin is more of an upward swing. And for the last seven minutes of this workout, we're going with five ground strokes, five volleys, all in a sequence, trying to keep the ball alive the whole time. So the important thing to remember here is that you need to transition up to the wall after your fifth forehand or backhand. And on your fifth volley, you wanna hit the ball a little bit higher and slower so that you have time to get back behind the ball, let it bounce and start the forehands and backhands again. So I'm going random on my ground strokes. So I'm playing both forehands and backhands. Here the, here's how this could look. There's one, there's two, three, four. I'm gonna hit this one really high so that I can get there and volley it. One, two, three, four, high and slow so that I have time to get back and let it bounce and start again. That's one, it's two, three, four, high so I can volley. One, two, three, four, high and slow. So I get back. Notice that when I'm going back, I turn and run instead of backpedaling. I think that's four. I got a volley now. Put that ball up in the air, turn and run. This one by far the greatest workout out of all the exercises. So just do your best. Notice I was hitting most shots from back here. I was hitting them above that chalk line. So hitting them pretty high, especially that last one. So it gives me a lot of time to get up close and take the next ball out of the air. So that's your 30 minute spec tennis workout for today. Go ahead and tell me in the comments what you thought of it. And if you'd like me to make more workout videos like this. This video is sponsored by ASAP.com. Be sure to check them out when it comes to food delivery. Use the promo code USOPEN10 to get $10 off your order of $10 or more.